pass rush hasn't always been there this year, but you got really good pressure on their quarterbacks today. Was that design stuff or just effort, or what was the key to that? No, I think uh, a lot of it was was technique, effort. They played well. I thought the back end uh, did a nice job of, of getting sticky on some route combos that, that uh, forced the quarterback to hold a little bit. And so, um, again, we always talk about uh, both coverage and pass rush. They sort of they work together. It, it always is that way. Um, now you will look on the film. I'm sure there were some individual efforts there that uh, that really helped. And, and um, you know, we got a. a we got a free runner on a blitz, and, and you know, so those things help. But, um, but no, most most times it's they, it's the the back end did a nice job getting sticky, and the, the front end did a nice job of playing with extension and hands, and we made a big deal of that because both guys could could scramble and could get out, and uh, I think they did a nice job of locating in the pocket. They got initial pressure that got them off the spot, and then uh, and then guys rallied. How do you think you guys did when they brought in the changeup with Malik in there and then they had to take him out? Other than that last drive of the half, I think uh, they responded to that. Yeah, I thought the guys did a nice job. I mean, the, the first drive he came in, I think, you know, we got, uh, you know, we got the big sack, you know, there on the, the field pressure and uh, that, that gave us an opportunity to uh, get him in a third and long and, you know, forced him to have to sort of hand it there and we were able to get off the field. You know, and then he had the, the drive before half, and you know you could just see him starting to, to gain some confidence. And so, uh, you know, making those plays coming out of halftime were really big. Obviously, the uh, the interception was really big. Um, so, again, proud of our guys, uh, the way they played. Uh, it, it's always it's always feels good to end with a win. Obviously, we've got another one. Um, you know, before we go into the off season, and that's a, that's a big one. You don't ever want to sit on a loss. Uh, but when you're in a rivalry game like this, uh, it's important to get that win. And um, I thought the guys showed up. They played hard. Uh, you know, they were consistent throughout the, the day. And uh, you know, some of the some of the runs that, that got out, we, we could have fit better a little bit. And, um, but overall, we'll take. Right. They were up 13 to seven at the half. They seemed to have some nice momentum, kind of building there. But is that a point of emphasis in the locker room that hey, we need to? Really good first yeah, absolutely. Any any time you know that you know they defer, you know we have to take the ball. We know that we're going to have to come out of the you know come out of the locker room, and uh, especially you know that that sort of that middle eight. Obviously, you know the last four minutes of the first half to the first four minutes of the second half. Those are big momentum uh, shifters, and you know we we've done pretty well going into halftime. Uh, you know holding points off the board this year. Uh, you know, in that scenario, we didn't, um, and then we knew we had to come right back out. And so, uh, you know, a game can can flip in a hurry right there. You know, you're up 13 nothing. The next thing you know, if you don't do it right, you know, they score before the half. If they score coming out of the half, all of a sudden you're behind and the momentum flips. So we knew it was going to be a big deal. Uh, the guys came out, they made the necessary adjustments, and uh, I thought we did a nice job. Coming into the season, a lot of eyes were on the linebacker core, but that's the secondary, I think, performed pretty well for you guys all year. Don't, what surprised you about just the way they were able to just really click and, and lock things down? Well, nothing surprised me, really. Uh, you know, I, I, I talked about it in, in spring and then uh, in fall camp. You know, I thought the guys were making competitive plays. Um, and, you know, I think some of those guys got an extra year. You know, I think about Carrington got another year under his belt uh, out there so he can play with so much more confidence. Uh, he did a nice job in one-on-one -on -one situations today. Uh, you know, we had to make quite a few of those. Um, and, you know, obviously the addition of Keydron, I thought Andrew Phillips you know, stepped up, you know, in sort of that nickel spot. And then uh, you talk about those safeties and uh, how well they've played all year, you know, all of them. And, you know, when somebody's ding, someone else steps in and, you know, whether it's Ty Asian or Lovett, you know, Geiger before he got injured, and then, uh, you know, Zion's come in and played really good football for us. So it's been that, that whole back end, they, they've bought in, uh, really proud of their effort, how they play, how physical they play. And, uh, you know, it's, it's really obviously helped us as a, a defense as a whole. Zion had the, the big splash play at the end to kind of help you clinch it, pass breakup that, yep. that, that Jordan that picks Jordan off. Picked. But a really nice play by Zion again. Yeah, absolutely. It was, you know, it, it turns into just understanding, all right, what route concepts are we getting, uh, knowing what they like to go to, and you know, the guys did a nice job reading it. Uh, broke on the football, got the ball in the air, and then 
Uh, Jordan played with great depth back there as a as a half field player. He was able to pick it. That JJ that strips that he almost took. Oh, long. he just got to bend his knees and then <laughs> scoop and, and then we could have walked in, could have walked in backwards, skipped in or something. Uh, but no, it was an incredible effort because I think what a lot of people forget is or didn't realize. I mean, he was getting held the entire first half of that play, and he fought off a hold and then continued to rush through it, forces the sack, and then able to scoop it. It was really a, a great play all the way around. Good job, good pocket push by the, the two edge guys, collapsing the pocket. And, um, so, no, it was a really nice play. Brad, what's it say about uh, both DeAndre and Jacquez wanting to be out there? And not, oh, just, not just, just being out there, but making some but, but making plays. plays, and both of them getting, if I'm not mistaken, right? You guys can correct, but both got their 300 plus tackle, right? So um, they're just, they're such good team guys, and you guys are going to try to make me freaking cry on camera, so <laughs> I'm not going to let you do it. Um, I, told, I told the locker room, I said, hey, listen, I got one more, one more before I start boo hooing. You know, you're going to miss a lot of these, you know, these veteran guys that, uh, have done so much for this program, so much for me. So, um, but yeah, it means a lot. It meant a lot for me for them to be out there. It meant a lot for the defense, the team, uh, and they weren't missing this game. I, I guarantee. You. I mean, they would have they would have hobbled around if they had to. So. Speaking of guys that made it around, Jordan Ryan is here. Yeah. So you are, um, <laughs> get him in here. Thank you. Thank you.